people dream about six years during their lives on average. We forget 95% of the dreams we have within the first 10 minutes of having them. Unlike other objects, we can't touch or taste dreams. We can't see other people's dream. However, one thing is certain. We all dream. But why? Sleeping and dreaming are both important. They are insight into yourself and your own challenges. Why we dream? Well, we don't have definitive answers today, but we do have some interesting theories. The study of dreaming is called oneurology. Out of all the existing theories, the Freudian theory on dreams is the most valid and successful one. Okay, before we jump straight into dreams, let's first take a quick look into sleep. When you are asleep, the brain goes through five stages. The first four are non-REM, mostly dreamless. And then the brain actually starts to dream, when it gets to the final stage, the REM stage, or rapid eye movement stage. Throughout a typical night, the brain cycles back and forth about four to five times through these various stages. The most dreaming happens in the REM stage. During REM sleep, if you wake a person, they will tell you that they have been dreaming. In REM sleep, the test suggests that the brain works exactly the same way it works when it's awake. You are completely in sleep, you lose muscle tone and your eyes darting around. Dogs in REM sleep will often move their paws and whimper as if chasing rabbits. Even though the body is paralyzed, the heart rate goes up blood pressure rises and brain activity returns to near waking levels. The paralysis in the REM sleep is caused by release of glycine and amino acid from brainstem onto your brain's motor neurons. There are certain areas in your brain that are responsible for certain functions. The ego of our brain sits on prefrontal cortex. When you wonder where am I in this body, you are sitting right behind your forehead, the prefrontal cortex. The orbital frontal cortex is where your conscious is, sits right behind your eyes. This part is the fact checker that help you decide on what is wrong and what is right. And there is a pleasure center that give rise to your desires, sits right at the center of the brain, the amygdala. The brain scan equipment allow us to measure and see all the interactions of different regions of the brain. When you see a sweet donut, then these three parts of your brain will be in constant share of interaction, battling to decide what action to take, the pleasure of eating the donut versus the extra calorie you're going to gain. When we dream, the areas of prefrontal cortex, the ego, and the orbital frontal cortex, the conscious, are both turned off. The areas that are active when you dream are the amygdala, the pleasure center that governs emotions like fear. So it means when you dream, the part of the brain that are active are not the fact checker, not the rational brain. It is the emotional brain that is active when you dream. The brain never turns off. It functions even when you go to sleep. If the brain has turned off, you are either under the influence of an anesthetic or you are in a coma. What's going on when we are dreaming is that the brain as opposed to the mind is going through the events of our days and recalling memories and trying to find associated memories from other times in our life that might be relevant. The brain is looking for ways to put things together. That is why most of the time our dreams give us a sense of meaning and value when we try to share them with others. Dreaming is a defense mechanism. Seeing a bad dream or a nightmare is not bad at all. While you are experiencing a nightmare, the brain is actually discovering new challenges and keep finding newer ways to resolve them. You are suddenly all prepared to face real life problems without no prior learnings. Dreaming to fulfill our wishes Sigmund Freud in his book The Interpretation of Dreams proposed that our dreams and nightmares are a collection of images from our daily conscious lives. The images or objects that we remember right after we wake up from a dream relates to the fulfillment of our subconscious wishes and desires. Dreaming to heal The brain is in rest when you are asleep. 
It tries to ease away the painful experiences that you suffer in life and tries to restore some health back to itself. So when you are awake, you can then take action with clarity. Dreaming to remember A 2010 research shows how brains can remember better by dreaming about a particular problem that it encountered during wakefulness. It is found that certain memory process can happen only when we are asleep. Dreaming to forget According to the reverse learning theory, while sleeping, your neocortex reviews all the neural connections and dumps the unnecessary ones. That way it keeps our brain sane by having thoughts and memories that is required and not overrun with unnecessary load. Some interesting facts about dreams. Number 1. You don't see or remember faces in most of your dreams. If you remember one, then it will be the one who you already know from real life. Number 2. You can't read in your dreams. Number 3. You can't see yourself in a mirror in your dreams. Number 4. You cannot zoom into the objects from your dream. Number 5. While dreaming, the brain can replay memories from the wakefulness both forward and backward in time. Number 6. The non-RAM stage dream experience is compressed in fragments and is 10 times faster. And number 7. Forget about dreaming. The bar-tailed godwit bird can fly 8 days non-stop from Alaska to New Zealand without sleep. Dreams are really fascinating. They help us. They defend us. Build us strong. Heal us. Fulfill our wishes. And above all, prepare us to be real when we are awake. If you have a question about dreams, do post it in the comments below. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Keep your mind open, ask questions and keep dreaming.